Hello everyone, uh, in this series of videos we are working through the lab that is available on GitHub for AZ104 Microsoft Administrator exam and I'm doing these videos really as I'm preparing for the exam. Uh, in this video I'm going to complete this section, task 3, create an Azure Active Directory AD tenant. So let's go to the Azure account and start working on it. So we'll go to the Azure Active Directory and create a new tenant on it. Okay. So let's go to my portal and you can just search for the Active Directory. I already have this available because I have recently visited this page. And to create a tenant, all you need to do is just uh, click on this uh, icon, create a tenant. Usually you're always logged into the default directory. If you want to create directory and that's a fancy name for a tenant, it's just an instance of an Active Directory. So we'll just click on that as per the lab instruction and we're going to assign this name directory type organization name so let's go back uh, directory type is Azure Active Directory there are other types that you can do uh, for the lab we're going to stick to the Azure Active Directory uh, let's see next organization name is Contaso Lab Initial domain name, it's saying any domain DNS name consisting of lowercase letters and digits starting with a letter. So let's try something. Uh, Contour Show Lab is a 104 exam. So if that's available, you will see this little green tick mark that means it's all good. You can use this initial domain name and that's pretty much it you are done and country region it's already selected as United States so that meets the criteria for uh, these options uh, here again the green check mark in the initial domain name text box will indicate that the domain name you typed is a valid or unique as I already said and we just need to hit review and create review and create and that's pretty much it now you come back to this it says validation pass so it will it will let me create this uh, instance which is a new tenant and it should be available to us and you can also click on this notification icon I use this a lot just to see what's going on with my deployments and stuff and once it's done it shouldn't take uh, very long at all and it will create a directory and it will be assigned to me so let's go back and I think that's all I needed to do in this portion of the lab. Uh, make sure display the blade of the newly created directory by using click here to navigate to it. So, okay, so one last thing we'll do once it's done, we'll go to the directory and make sure that it's available. And uh, we'll just go to the subscription and, and again, that edit directory has no subscription so you will not see anything but we'll do that and then in the lab so let's go back uh, it's still creating the directory it will take few minutes so I'm gonna just pause the video for a second and as soon as it's done we'll finish up and do the last section of the lab actually it just created so I don't even have to pause so let's uh, uh, it says directory click, click here to navigate to the new directory so actually we're not gonna do that we'll, we'll uh, just go over here and I'll show you how to go to the directory from here. So if you ever want to change your directory, this icon right here, directory press subscription, click on that one. It will show you all those different tenants that you are part of. So the new one that we just created is the Contour Show. Where is my Contour Show? Contour Show Lab. We want to make sure which what what did we create it. Uh, so the new directory was created. Your new directory. This is the new directory, which is the Contour Show Lab. So you can I just clicked on there just to see if I'm going this okay. Over here, it's now going to show up as Contour Show Lab. All right, and the directory is going to show what it is. And as I said, the domain uh, we said Contour Show Lab 104 Exam dot on Microsoft dot com. So everything looks good. So I'm here. So I can close this and uh, as I said, you can also go it from here and you just need to choose the Contoso lab from there so it will move to this directory. Again, you're at the same place. And again, over here, if I search for subscription, 
just to show you that it's I have no subscription whatsoever in here and if you see it, everything is selected but I have no subscription so let's go back to my default subscription again I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna go back to my default directory under default directory if I look for subscription just to verify that I'm at the right directory that I that I need to be I click on that show my subscription should show up and right here I am so if you're lost if you are doing this uh, lab if you uh, go into this directory and if you get lost make sure to come back so that you can do more stuff with your subscription again all right so we have finished this lab in this lab we created a new tenant and that's also an exam topic and you may get a lab uh, in the exam where you may have to log into uh, a, a demo subscription and do this work so make sure that you can do this with ease and be comfortable with it so good luck with the exam thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe like and share with share with your friends thank you